Wow. <laughs> you need to tree lopper when you got Anthony Kashava, right? <laughs> hey guys. So I am sitting in the Woolies car park. <laughs> it's five o'clock on Sunday afternoon. And I've just realized that I don't have any bread to make the sandwiches for the kids' um, lunch tomorrow. So I thought I'd come down and do the mad Sunday dash to the Woolies and get it done. Um, I thought while I was here and it's quiet, I could do a little bit of an update on Isabella. I don't know what's going on with his collar, but anyway. Um, so we were, well, I actually started a vlog yesterday morning, um, but unfortunately I couldn't go through with it. It had to be, I had to delete it. Um... And yeah, not finish it because Isabella's actually struggling a lot uh, the last week, two weeks. So you've probably noticed that our um, vlogs are getting shorter and shorter and not as regular. Um, because as much as I would love to record every minute of every day, uh, it's getting quite difficult because Isabella is... Um, having meltdowns and not just regular meltdowns either. These are like pretty full on meltdowns. Um, they are getting to the point where I don't have any choice but to just put her in a room and just, um, put her to bed. It's a, you know, five, six o'clock in the afternoon and I just have to put her in a room. Um, she's, I'm not sure what it is that's actually triggering it. Um, I know that she is getting transitioned um, to mainstream next year. So she's been going once a week to the new school um, and her teachers that she's actually at the school now are pulling our way. So um, that could be it. Um, I have spoken to her teachers and they have said that they are uh, pushing her more now. Um, before so then so then they can actually get her ready for um for the transition then they're going to push her as much as they can so then she's ready and it's a good thing that they're pushing her you know um but i don't know if they're actually pushing too hard um and also isabella has her end of year concert next week so we're not sure whether that's actually playing on her mind as well um, Christmas is coming up, end of year, all that type of thing. So, I don't know, it could be a bunch of different things. We don't know what it is, but, yeah, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. Um, we are still in the middle of changing therapists, so we haven't actually had any therapy in the last few weeks either. So, I don't know if that's playing on her mind. Um, but, yeah, the... The meltdowns that she's having are, yeah, very severe meltdowns. She's, um, she's screaming and crying and shaking and they're just, they're very extreme. Very, very extreme. I mean, I, I've, she's had meltdowns before and they're just nothing like what they are now. They are awful now. So, yeah, that's why the main reason as to why 
our vlogs haven't been as um, as long or as frequent because I just can't I just I just can't do it I can't pick up the camera if she's like that because I gotta put all my attention on her obviously to try and help I get through it but yeah it's taking a bit of a toll on all of us um, we are just exhausted um, I've organized to have a meeting with her school next week um, Anthony's even gonna be at the meeting as well he's taking the day off um, it's a day of her school presentation so he's gonna take the day off work for that so just thought we'd make that appointment for that day um, so then he could be there so we can go through everything with them and just you know try and get to the bottom as to why she's struggling so much or you know try and figure something out because at the moment it's yeah it's really affecting all of us um it's taking a pretty big toll on Anthony as well he's getting really quite upset at the whole thing because he can't we obviously you know we can't help so it hurts you know as a parent when you can't help your child it it's devastating really and uh it even takes its toll on Jasmine as well Jasmine's getting quite upset she just sit down she starts crying and I always say what's wrong and she says the Jas um Isabella's upset Isabella crying so you know it's taking a toll on all of us but we just have to get through it we've got through it before I mean they have never been this big but you know we've gotten through situations and we can get through this one um yeah that was pretty much about it that's all I really wanted to touch base on just to let you all know exactly what's going on um one thing that has helped is that uh she's wearing her earmuffs her ear, um her headphones a lot more now um we've got noise cancelling headphones so when she puts it on she doesn't have to worry about it today we went to the circus as you've seen and she actually wore the headphones for at least half of the the show and she got through it and we actually had a pretty good time when we got home she did um get a little bit worked up but after having some quiet time spending some time in her room and all that type of thing she did calm down so yeah it's she's been putting her headphones on at school as well so they're really helping a lot I don't know why I've never thought about bringing them out before now but yeah so we're bringing them out and she's finding a way to use them to kind of as a security blanket I think but yeah anyway uh that's about it I hope you like this vlog I know there's not much that happened obviously I can't record while I was in the circus today but we did have a great time that's awesome they had the lions and the trapeze and the monkeys and it was awesome it was really we had a, we all had a really good time all four of us um and then this afternoon we did some more gardening <laughs> cutting down some trees those trees are just up against the big tree that we pulled down it's it's up against the um the house and of a night time it rubs and it screaks it scree like scratches on the the house so that's the reason why we cut that one down uh, we're going to cut a couple of them down from the front of the house and then we're just going to get a big skip and chuck everything in it and just try and make clean up the backyard a little bit that um that tree actually has fruit in it but we don't know what type of fruit it is it's like a round green thing at the moment as soon as it starts to ripen up the bats come and get it and once they get them they kind of eat half of it and then drop it on the ground and it makes like this purple stain on the ground so it just makes a mess and it's scratching scratching up against the house so i thought you know what let's just cut it down while we're getting the gardening done so that's what that is um so yeah the next few weeks we're going to be doing some gardening and getting the backyard all sorted and get my plants potted and uh yeah just kind of fixing up our house getting ready for christmas all that type of thing all right that's just gone for eight minutes so i'm gonna wrap it up here i hope you had a good day and hopefully i can record some of isabella at her concert hope she goes all right fingers crossed all right see you guys hope you have a good sunday Bye.